Governor Kristi Noem says more apprenticeships will shape the workforce of the future. To test that theory, we went to the cradle of the apprenticeship world, the blacksmith. Well, that's, that's just it. You can read a book all day long and you can't pick up the subtle things that convey that craft to the student. Jack Parks has apprenticed nearly 100 students in his time, including Aaron Fortier. When I was 18, I d did an apprenticeship with Jack. It was the first of its kind, so we had to fill out an, an application with the state and we got funded by a grant. Blacksmithing was never part of a long-term plan for Fortier, but when things didn't work out at one college, it opened new doors at another. When I was at state, um, I decided not to pursue their physics program and I thought, well, what am I going to do? And then I had known of the metallurgy program, didn't know what metallurgy even was. Really, I didn't have a basic concept of it, but I understood that they had a program there and that it was engineering. And I thought, well, I like to do blacksmithing and I think that's interesting. Maybe I can find some kind of commonality. Now, we're marrying the blacksmithing with the metallurgy at the School of Mines and it makes a symbiotic relationship, I guess you might say, that uh, is well respected by the professors at school. Fortier graduated this year from the School of Mines and Technology with a degree in metallurgical engineering, a new age degree fueled by an old age pedagogy. What you learn when you're younger really carries on through the rest of your life and you form an identity around it. But I think that hands-on skills are invaluable. Nick Reagan, Coda Territory News.